The library at Green Bay's Martin Elementary School is a little brighter after this week. It's all thanks in collaboration between a librarian, hundreds of students, and an artist. Fox 11's Marlo Lundak brings us the story tonight. When you think of brush strokes and paints in school, you don't typically think of it happening in the library. But that's exactly where it's happening this week at Green Bay's Martin Elementary School. Here in the library, we have something for everybody. Jennifer Georgia has been Martin's library media specialist for 16 years. We also have a very welcoming area here. Everybody's welcome. I want everybody to be comfortable and um, it's a the place they want to be. As stories come to life on the pages of the books that fill these library shelves, Georgia had the idea to bring a story to life on the wall too, in the form of a mural. And this story is written by the students. It's all the things they tell their teachers they love about their school. We have our therapy dog up here in the corner. He comes and he reads with students in the library. Our uh, phi ed teacher takes uh, our younger students bowling. Kindergartners get to go pumpkin picking every fall. Artist Greg Preslichka made the students' ideas become reality. A lot of students see art as it's done. And so this is a great way for them to see an artist working and see artist ha art happen rather than just a piece that's hanging on the wall and they don't have any connection as to how that got there. So this is real fun. The four and a half foot tall by 39 foot long mural is getting its finishing touches. And Greg says it's more than just students' ideas on a wall. It validates why they're here and what, you know, that they're important too. And that somebody takes the time to ask them, hey, what's important to you about school? And that I think is real important. And then that gets put up on the wall and can be kind of says, hey, yeah, we, we think that's important too. While the mural is all based on students' ideas, one student had the chance to be featured in it. How does it feel to see you up there on this big mural inside of your library? Really good. Georgia says the mural makes the library feel complete. And just like her students, she's happy to be here. It makes me excited to know that students are connected, that they have a place that they're, they want to come to and they're connected to. And um, these are all the great things that are happening here. And they know it. In Green Bay, Marlo Lundak, Fox 11 News. First and foremost, tell me a little bit about when you first got into being a muralist. When did, when did this all start? So this started about 17, 16, 17 years ago. I started doing, uh, well, my kids asked me to paint on their bedroom walls. That led to doing other bedroom walls for kids. Uh, and then I had an opportunity to do a YMCA. Uh, and I'm from the Twin Cities area, so I, it, uh, that evolved into several YMCAs. And so it's kind of just been going since then. Wow, that's yeah. really cool. Yeah. Tell me when you first got involved with this project. Did somebody reach out to you? How did that happen? So my wife Heidi handles most of the bookings, so she knows that better. But uh, yeah, I think that Jenny came to us. I think we probably had sent her some info about us. We I've done a lot of work in schools, so I, I like to be in schools. I've done a lot of murals in schools, uh, so we reach out to schools around the uh, the, the metro, you know, the five state area, and. Um, and so uh, that came from that somehow, I think, yeah. So it sounds like the students had a big hand in, in this piece of art that you've got up here right now. What was your thought process as they were coming to you with these ideas about what they love about this school? What did that mean to you as an artist and being able to portray that for them to see every day moving forward? So that was kind of fun. So Jenny, Jenny brought all the information to me. So when I do murals like this, sometimes I get a lot of information. Sometimes I don't get it get much so it was nice to get a, a bunch and uh, to know that it was a kind of be about the students you know this, what the students loved about their school and that so it was fun to be able to portray that and have something that they could see and uh, for years to come and that was kind of my next question was you know you're you're putting so many hours into this and knowing that it's going to be appreciated for so long by students for generations to come for many years how does it make you feel as an artist knowing that this is going to be like people are going to see this every single day and they're going to remember that this is what they love about this school and that's thanks to you. Yeah, yeah, no, that's kind of fun uh, to know that and to know that, you know, someday they may come back with their kids and it might still be up and they can see that and say, yeah, yeah, I remember when that was being done. Yeah, that's great. In terms of sizing, have you, like, is this a regular average size? Is this, like, I don't know, I have absolutely no idea. This is pretty typical. I don't do too many really large things. I've done some, you know, I, last summer I did one that was 80 by about 25 feet in size. Uh, I don't like to get them too big because I don't really love heights. <laughs> uh, 
but uh, yeah, so this is pretty typical. I mean, this is a this is a with this lift, it's kind of an ideal size because it's it's all within reach for the you know the, the five feet height or four and a half feet height we have. Yeah. So I know students have been coming in and out and kind of watching your progress throughout the re the week. Um, what are their some of their reaction as as they're seeing it all come together? It's always fun because they get all real excited, especially they kind of come around the corner and then they first see it up there. So it's a real kind of a magical moment for them. And, and that's kind of fun for me. That's part of the reason I, I do a lot of murals. I love to in schools and I, I love that and I prefer to be in schools because uh, a lot of students see art as it's done. And so this is a great way for them to see an artist working and see artist ha art happen rather than just a piece that's hanging on the wall. They don't have any connection as to how that got there. So this is real fun. Do you ever get any questions from them about like, wow, is this your job? Like, do they are they ever yeah. interactive with oh, you like oh, that? Oh, sure, yeah, yeah. And I try to field questions if, if, if as much as I can because that's always kind of fun. So yeah, I get a lot of questions about if you know my artist do I you know do this? Or how you know how can you be so good? And, uh, you know, uh, did I draw when I was their age and, and things like that? Yeah. How important do you think is it for students to be involved in a project like this, to be thinking about the things that they love about school and to see something like this come to life? Why do you think that's important for kids to, to be a part of? Well, I, I, it, it's important for them, I guess, because uh, it validates why they're here and what, you know, that they're important too and that somebody takes the time to ask them, hey, what's important to you about school and that I think is real important. And then that gets put up on the wall and can be kind of says, hey, yeah, we, we think that's important too. Do you have a favorite part of the mural so far? Uh, I know, I, I, I'm kind of enjoying all of it, so I'm just having fun as I go, yeah. What am I missing? Is there anything I didn't ask about that you want to add or mention about this, you know, being part of this project at this school? Uh, I'm, just, I'm just appreciative that I was asked to come here. It's always, it's always wonderful when I, get, when I get chosen to do a project like this. So. Anything you wanted to add? Do you think this will inspire future generations of artists? Well, I hope so. Usually when I'm at a school, I always get the, I mean, it's, it's just heartwarming when I get a kid come up to me and they, they show me maybe what, they, what they're drawing or they say, you know, I'm going to be an artist when I grow up. And uh, so that's always, that's kind of the best part of being at school. Awesome. Yeah.